soon Elon Musk's boring company may have a possible Florida project, the Miami Sea Level Tunnel. Mayor Francis Suarez had a tweet saying, uh, a video tweet saying he just had a call with Elon Musk regarding the boring company tunnels coming to Miami. He said they were looking at uh, how things will turn out in Giga at uh, in um, uh, the Las Vegas Loop, and that he's going to speak with Mayor. They think it. Uh, they had an alternative for one billion. Project. Project, but they think that boring company can do it for 30 million dollars within six months and can be expanded to other transportations to Miami and beyond and that uh, this is going to be exciting and signature project for the world welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are uh, here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and uh, electric vehicle news and also boring company news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV story. K10 from the Tasmanian.com has the details saying the CEO of the boring company Elon Musk had a 30-minute phone interview with Miami, Florida Mayor Francis Suarez. Suarez has been the mayor for five years of Miami after serving since 2009 as the city commissioner until 2017 when he became mayor. Suarez's background is extensive in transportation. Um, here is from Wikipedia. Suarez also serves as as vice chair of the Miami-Dade Transportation Planning Organization, TPO, and is the former president of the Miami-Dade County League of Cities. In his role at the TPO, Suarez championed the strategic Miami area rapid transit called SMART, uh, that plan, which was anonymously approved. The SMART plan, you know, strategic Miami area rapid transit, expands mass transit options in Miami-Dade County, though uh, through six main corridors and new bus routes. So he tweeted saying just had a call uh, with Elon Musk regarding boring company uh, tunnel coming to to Miami. Let's watch that tweet and continue. Just had a wonderful call with Elon Musk, obviously discussing tunnels in the city of Miami. I'm looking forward to seeing his concept in Las Vegas. Uh, he's focused on trying to deliver a project that will have the maximum utility of for our residents for uh, the least amount of money. Uh, the order of magnitude in terms of savings is, is significant. We talked a lot about the Brickle Tunnel project, which was priced out at a billion dollars and he feels can be done much closer to $30 million. Uh, so uh, obviously without uh, being able to sort of rely on that particular uh, price point, um, that is what he uh, believes that something like that can be done for. And it can be done in about six months. So I'm gonna obviously be discussing this issue with uh, the governor, with uh, the county mayor, because I think we have a unique opportunity to create uh, a signature project, not just for Miami, but for the world uh, that uh, will bring people from across the world to see this solution and will allow it to scale to more trans transportation solutions throughout the city and more throughout the world. So the boring company talk was said to be around the idea of building a multiple mile long tunnel in Miami. There has been much talk from former Miami mayors such as Maurice Ferre uh, through the years of building more tunnels for the sea level city. Uh, the city of Miami is known to have traffic congestion issues. K10 reports at Tasmanian and says the hope here is to build a tunnel to help relieve such issues and also move towards a very green future to address if it is possible to build at sea level yes it is as miami already has a tunnel built at and below sea level the port miami tunnel wikipedia um uh, K10 also says at uh, Tasmanian.com that the tunnel is 4,200 feet long with the deepest depth of 120 feet below sea level. The tunnel roughly took two years to complete. But if you remember uh, from the mayor's work uh, uh, speech, this may be, in this case with Boring Company, it may be $30 million and uh, also be finished within six months of the start. So uh, K10 explains that 
The new tunnel project is rumored at Miami to supposedly be $30 million where costs are low due to the tunnel's intentional design of electric vehicle only vehicles, so no need for expensive extra ventilation engineering. Miami-Dade County area of Miami transit officials in 2018 priced the tunnels that consider CO2 ventilation measures to cost $900 million, almost $1 billion. In an interview with the Miami Herald after a call with Musk Friday, February 2nd, 6th, Suarez stated that the CEO said the boring company may be able to build the tunnel in under six months. The tunnel would run from Brickell Avenue, the downtown financial area of Miami, to Biscayne Boulevard. Suarez stated he will be reaching out to the Florida governor. But did you see that part that Katen reported in uh, uh, in the, the, the in this report, uh, the report says the new tunnel project is rumored, rumored to supposedly be thirty million dollar, where costs are low due to the tunnel's intentional design of electric vehicle only vehicles, EV only vehicles, so no need for expensive extra ventilation. Does that mean that only, so I think this means that only electric vehicles will be allowed to use this tunnel because there is no ventilation. I don't know how many electric vehicles are in Miami area. I don't know if there are any stats, statistics. Uh, if anyone knows, please uh, post in the comment section below if you know how many um, electric vehicles are driven in Miami area. But also what's interesting, year by year, the number of electric vehicles will grow in Miami and elsewhere in the United States. That's one thing. And also, this should encourage more and more people in Miami area to buy electric um, vehicles because you can then use the, tra uh, the tunnel. So if your city has a traffic and your city is building a, a tunnel which is intended only for electric vehicles because we know that the gas cars are going to go and uh, that the batteries that Tesla is building right now and may even even cattle and others are going to be less expensive than the gas cars, uh, making gas cars. And therefore, companies will be already by nature moving toward the direction of building more electric cars because it will be cheaper to build and sell electric cars with profit than it is building gas cars. Until now, it has been cheaper to build gas cars than electric cars because the batteries are expensive. But the battery costs for electric cars are coming down and it will be cheaper. The car companies in the next five years will offer more electric vehicles and in this case it looks like a lot of people in the Miami area will have an extra incentive to buy an electric car. I like this very much because you're not giving money people to buy electric car. You're not incentivizing or giving them tax money, but you're building infrastructure that's saying, oh, this, if you want to use this, it's only electric uh, vehicles. It's like the HOV lanes in many places. Like for example, if you go to Atlanta, they have an HOV lane on Highway 85. If you have more than one person in your car, you can use it. I guess you can use it for free. Otherwise you have to pay for it. In this case, I don't know if the paid option will work if you have gas cars because if there is not going to be a ventilation there's going to be that much gas in the air uh, then they probably if the intent is that EV only vehicles so they probably not they will not be allowed gas cars will not be allowed into the Miami tunnel so I think that's very interesting a great incentives for many people and uh, so Suarez stated that he will be reaching out to the Florida governor for this and K10 also reports in testmanian.com that currently according to the company's website the boring company is actively working on four big projects in North America first Las Vegas second Hawthorne uh, Los Angeles and uh, the, uh, the sec third Los Angeles and fourth is the East Coast. The Las Vegas project alone is quite extensive with many resorts contracting to have a tunnel made to their resort on top of the already large Vegas loop and smaller connected LVCC Las Vegas Convention Center loop. In fact yesterday the uh, there was a video on Reddit that uh, the boring company is actively testing the 
LVCC loop and the Miami tunnel has not yet been added to the boring company website as an official project well friends let me know what your thoughts are about all these developments of the boring company let's please continue discussing them in the uh, comment section below in the meantime uh, this is Armen Harayan from torquenews.com uh, please join our community subscribe to our channel by the way uh, I'm hiring Tesla and electric vehicle reporters for uh, torquenews.com uh, it requires daily writing um, and you get paid once a month through PayPal if any one of you is interested and has the heart for daily writing please contact me using the contact information from the about page of uh, this YouTube channel or just contact me through the um, torquenews.com's contact information which is torquenews.com slash contact well friends have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone i'll see you soon in our next report peace be with all of you and have a great day